more wealth than 80% of the bloody population. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And if everybody starts thinking money, 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 you know that already, if you're not born in a certain family, you're not born in the upper echelons of London, yeah. you're already restricted. You, you are already held back. So money, as a purpose, how, like you're already held back. And let's just say if, God forbid, you become disabled. So now again, employment is harder. Does that mean you have no purpose in life? It can't be that. Family, what if, and you know that you know the reason why Andrew Tate's going viral, because people, when they get a woman, whether a girlfriend or a wife, they invest everything into her. She is my everything. They start worshipping her because they don't believe in a creator. They start worshipping the woman. They start, that's wrong, that's wrong. of course it's wrong. It's mad. But the thing is, either they worship because look, if you're not worshipping God, you're going to be worshipping money. If you're not worshipping money, you're going to be worshipping women. If you're not worshipping women, you're going to be worshipping your job. Some people, they make that their purpose. I lie. Do I lie? They make that their purpose, isn't it? So, so what you're saying is... I'm very, saying you're better than that. You have, to, you have to worship God though. I'm saying knowing God yeah. will, because if you, if you fulfill your purpose of knowing God, loving God, that automatically will help you to know thyself. And when you know yourself, you will transcend money. You will transcend women. You will transcend jobs. And that's where you will have escaped the matrix. And that's why the guy that's even telling us to escape the matrix accept, accepted Islam. Because that's the only way he could escape the matrix. You see, mad. So that, that's what I'm saying. Our purpose is to know God because God tells us in the Quran, either you enslave yourself to me or you'll enslave yourself to many. What is better? Enslaving yourself to God who only wants good for you or enslaving yourself to your woman who sees, you know what, this guy's becoming a simp now. I can, I can take from him. I'm not saying all women are like this, but if you give the woman too much control or if a woman gives the man too much control, too much, then of course people become power hungry. You go, you tell your boss, I'm here for you, I'm here for you. That guy is going to suck you dry. Money, if the guy knows you're after money, bro, you see the greatest of kings get taken off their kingship because their child's been bribed. Look in the middle, look, look in our countries. I don't want to hot out any countries, but they get bribed. The average layman will get bribed because he's after it for the money. So what I'm trying to say, Joseph, is you're better than that. You're better than just money because if you transcend money, you're going to become a force to be reckoned with. If you are, if you are a man of money, anyone can come here and say, here's five bags, do this. Here's five bags, do that. You probably heard on Oxford Street a couple of days ago, madness. Somebody put a TikTok video saying, go to JD and rob the store. Make sure you're ballied up. Make sure you know you can run fast, make it happen. They did that. People on TikTok barking like dogs <laughs> just to get that pay packet. So that's why I'm saying, bro, don't make it about money. You're going to be enslaved to something, but enslave yourself to the one who's created you that's worthy of worship. You thank some random guy because he'll give you a present or someone who opens the door for you. Thank you. What about God? He's given you arms. He's given you legs. He's given you a brain. He's given you faculties. He's given you eyes. He's given you a physique. He's given you the ability to question. Well, if you look at animals, bro, flipping chimps, picking nits out of each other, munching them like skittles. It's ridiculous. But as human beings, opposable thumbs. Subhanallah, that means glory be to Allah. So that's why, you know, when you're asking the people, that the, most people, you can tell from, of course, the way they look, or hopefully, I don't want to judge everyone, but their purpose, they've acknowledged their purpose. Yeah, the purpose is to give yourself to God. Fix your relationship with Allah, so He fixed your relationship with everything else. Fix your relationship with Allah, so he fixed your relationship with everything else. We try to fix our relationship with the people and we destroy our relationship with God. That's why we're on a downhill spiral. And that's why next man doesn't know what a woman is, what a man is. That's why we're in the state that we're in. That's why you've got people having sex with animals. That's, that's, the, that's what we're in. So what I'm telling you, Joseph, is what do you think about what I've said? About giving yourself 
to, and I'm not just saying blindly. That's why now I'm going to ask you, what would it take for you today to say, you know what? I want to give myself to God. I want to accept God and live my life according to the rules of God, not according to the rules of BBC, not according to the rules of Miss Margaret from Key Stage 3 Biology, not according to JK Rowling, Harry Potter, Chamber of Secrets, not according to what next man says, according to what Allah, the creator of you and me says. What will it take, Joseph? I mean, to be fair, I think your relationship with God, it should be, it's a personal thing, isn't it? Of course. So like, as long as you're a good person, yeah, as long as you're doing something in life that's, that's good, hopefully, it's all right, you know, like, Okay, Joseph, the, the problem... The relationship with God should be... I get you, I get you, I get you. It's like a loving relationship. I see. But the thing when you say, be a good person. If being a good person to me is oppressing my wife, but being a good person, because I'm like, look, if I oppress her, then I will have a good family unit and I justify that in my head. But to you, being a good person is, you know what? I kick my dog every now and then, just so he's... He's solid and you know, he becomes this and he becomes that. Do you see? It's too subjective. Yeah, but as in, you're not going to be able to please everyone, are you? You're not going to be able to be good to everyone. Can you give me an example of something that you think is good? And I'll be able to uh, go. I don't know, respect, like respect to people, for example. You know, that's in itself, that's the foundation. Yeah? And you should have respect for people. Would you say to have respect for somebody that's raped your mother? But do you see? But do you see how it's subjective? But as a, yeah, not, not, you know, who deserves respect? I That's guess. what I'm saying. But you're going to think your mum, your dad deserves respect. Yeah. But some other person's going to say, I don't know his mum and his dad. I don't think they should deserve respect. Any principle that you put forward for, is going to be subjective. It's going to be something that comes from you, your whims, your desires. Oh, I want to have ice cream today. That makes me happy. Tomorrow, I want to oppress my brother because that makes me happy. Tomorrow, I want to go late into work. That makes me happy. But is that good? Can you prove that it's good? You can't. So that, I, what I'm saying is, the white man used to think slavery was good. The, According to the, to the Quran and the Bible, it's good. Or is it though? As in, as in, what is good in the Bible? What is good in the Quran? is what you should kind of... Okay. Not, all right, Joseph, we're getting in there now. Joseph's coming out of his... No, no, it's no. fine, it's all right. As in like, I get you, I get you. you. You, as a human being, you naturally know, or you, you feel what's good or what's, what's bad, isn't it? Okay. You know? Not based on feelings, just, just by like, morals. Okay, but where do we get morals. those morals from though? That's what I'm saying. What you said about the Quran is actually false. I'll tell you why. Anytime, in, in Islam, what any does, excuse. What about the Quran, so, so you said that in, in Islam, yeah. according to the Quran or in Islam, we're told that having slaves is a good thing. I didn't say that. All right, correct me. I, I, I said just like, what, what they say yeah. is a good thing to do. It's a good thing to do. Yeah, but not, not the it's, it's slaves. I don't know. <laughs> that's how it sounded like. Nah, All right, slaves. that's how it sounded like. Just, just uh, yeah. rephrase it so I understand. So, okay, so what's like. Give me an example of like what's a good thing, like a good deed. In, okay, in the so, so in in Islam, yeah. a good a good deed is not to abort your child. Okay. But today you can't say the same thing. Do you if see? There's a reason, man. If, if there's a if there's a valid Bro, I've tried. To <laughs> no, I, I agree with you. Yeah. But next man saying mm. it was a mistake. Yeah. I don't want to have him. I'm too young. Yeah. Do you uh, see? Yeah, yeah. What, what do you think about that? Is that is I'm that saying it's mad. You can't kill a child. Yeah. It's ridiculous. In Islam, it's wrong. Yeah. It's forbidden. But even if it's not in, like, it's still a, it's not even a, a fetus here. Yes. If there is, you know, if there's extenuating circumstances in which the mother can pass away, then of course there's discussion. Yeah. So, okay. If the mother passes away. If the mother could pass away, or if no, there's. there's no, as in like, you know what I mean? Your hand, it? You have, it's gonna die anyway. It's a process, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, but sometimes the baby can live. But there's, there's this medical condition. Yeah, but it's a little thing. 
there's there, yeah, like it can really, be uh, it can be stuck somewhere or oh, it's a mad thing in it you know what i mean that's why they do all these scans and all these sorts of things but, but the point that i'm trying to say is a man and a woman wait islam says doing adultery is wrong today can you say doing adultery is wrong do you see oh, okay if i tell you a man and a woman they've come together they've got married they have children a man's going to do adultery now. When he's going to come home, the wife's going to leave him. She's going to become traumatized and never trust another man again for the rest of her life. That kid statistically is going to either become obese, going to be a drug dealer, who's going to be killing people. He's definitely going to be a bane on society. Do you see? That's why. That's one of the reasons why in Islam, adultery, no way, Jose. We don't entertain adultery. We have the strictest punishments against, uh, against adultery. Do you see why? When you say this is good, this is bad morality, do you see why I'm saying it's subjective? You need God to tell you what's right and wrong because, because a human being, you know what he's going to do? He's going to change it. He's going to change Like Henry VIII, he started fiddling around with the laws <laughs> just so he could get rid of his wives. Because in Catholicism, there's no divorce. So he started, you know, separation of church and state and started doing madness. That's why, bro, what I'm saying is, it's nice what you're saying, be a good person, but I think you will agree in your heart of hearts. Two month year old baby. It's subjective, isn't it? That's what I'm saying. That's why you need God to tell you, don't do this. Somebody who's outside of the needs and that of human beings. Not somebody that comes as a human being and starts making the same mistakes as human beings. Like say Jesus or, you know, Ram or Vishnu or whatnot. So we don't believe God does that, that God needs to do that. And we believe we get our morality from God. Because even today, if we had an election, Joseph, we had an election, is it okay to eat a, a dead human being? If everybody de democratically, you know, says that, yeah, we're okay with this. That's, it's okay now. Majority rules. You know what I mean? If majority says slavery is okay, majority rules. If majority says, yeah, drop bombs on Iraq. Yeah, it's all right, do it. Even though, you know, in Iraq, majority were against it. They did it anyway. So these guys don't follow their own rules. So left to our own devices, like the Joker said in the dark night, these people would eat each other. You know what I mean? So that's why I say, bro, just saying be a good person is not enough. And you know in your hearts of hearts, it's not enough. It's simply not enough. So now, that was your first thing. Second thing you said, it's your own relationship with God. But if we acknowledge that there is a God, we acknowledge that He has a will, He sent prophets, He sent books, Quran, prophet, surely He gets to decide. Like, you know, on, do you celebrate Valentine's Day? Okay, Mother's Day, yeah. sometimes. sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's just say you ask your mom, mom, I'm going to get you a hedge trimmer. She's like, no, I don't want a hedge trimmer. Look, I, I think you need a hedge trimmer. I'm going to get you a hedge trimmer. Is she going to be happy? But if she said that she doesn't want a hedge trimmer. So if God tells us how he wants to be praised, and you're like, nah, I'm not going to do that. So God says, look, there's a special way for you to praise me. Look after your parents, that's worship. Give in charity, that's worship. Make pilgrimage, that's worship. Look after your neighbor, that's worship. If you're like, nah, 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 nah. It's what's in my heart that counts. It's not going to make, it doesn't make sense. It's like me saying, I brush my teeth and my mouth is still clean. I don't brush my teeth, but my mouth is still clean. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. So if you don't pray, how can you say your heart is still clean? Do you see? So if God's saying, worship me like this, no thanks. Give in charity, no thanks. Fast so you can become close to me, no thanks. Do you see how it doesn't make sense? So now upon reflection, Joseph, I ask you again. Now, what is stopping you from acknowledging and accepting Allah and Islam. Nothing really. Why don't we take our Shahada right now? No, I'm good. 
No, but on the level though, look, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna press you or anything. It's just. But, you know what? I haven't studied the religion enough, and I haven't studied other religions enough, personally anyway, you know, to fully like. But do you see? But do you see how much Islam makes sense though? It does, yeah. It's, it's definitely like. Bro. Religion in itself, I think, is a good way to live your life, to follow, you know, like guides. It's a good guide to, to follow. When you study the other religions, you're gonna find Islam is the only one that purely believes in one God. The others will bring in, oh, he's got a son, there's a Holy Spirit. Now he comes down as this guy or that guy, or he needs to do this. Islam says none of that, mate. God doesn't need to come down in any shape or form whatsoever. God will send his representatives as prophets. There is a holy book and those prophets will be Sadiq and Amin. They'll be truthful and trustworthy. You know, there was, an ex there was a survey done about leadership by Kozes and, and Posner. They asked about one and a half million people, what do you think is the best quality of a leader for you to follow them? And they go, integrity. Integrity, most of the people said integrity. Then they wrote a whole book defining what integrity is and they defined integrity as being truthful and trustworthy. And two of the names that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is known as, and you can check the literature, Sadiq and Amin. That's just one. He's made so many prophecies that today have come true. But when you see the prophecies made by other people like Nostradamus or even Jesus, C.S. Lewis says one of the prophecies of, of Jesus, peace be upon him, is embarrassing. Not one person will say that but about the prophecies of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. I can tell you prophecy standing here. I can tell you, Joseph, what the Prophet peace be upon him said right now. I can tell you who I heard it from. I can tell you who he heard it from, who he heard it from, who he heard it from. The chain of transmission. Just standing here in the park as a regular Joe. We preserve our sayings. The holy book, the Quran is the only holy book from the ancient religions. We have manuscripts that can be dated using science to the time of compilation. The only, the only ancient religion, bro. It's mad, isn't it? Even, bro. Bro, I'm telling you in anything, you give me anything, Islam comes out. Gold medal, right at the top, with every single thing whatsoever. I'm conscious of your time as well, so feel free to let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But bro, yeah, yeah, no, love, love for giving me your time and um, stuff like that. And I'm here every Sunday, bro. Any questions you want to come next week, come next week with some more questions and we can discuss it. But I appreciate your time, bro. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my brother.